Where some see leaves, we see cigars. Master Blender Willem van Overbelt would like to show you where and how our tobacco is grown and tell you the story behind our freedom of blending. A cigar is a natural product, so no two cigars are ever the same. Of course, the quality of tobacco is determined by the composition of the soil, the climate, and weather conditions. But it has been our experience and close personal attention to detail that elevates tobacco from good to great. To expand on this, we would like to take you on a journey to the Cibao Valley in the north of the Dominican Republic, where it all starts in the nursery room with the tobacco seed that is planted in trays. It takes 45 days from seeding to transplant into the fields. In about 45 days, the plant is fully grown and ready for the first priming. The plants that come from this region are sun-grown under direct sunlight. In contrast to shade-grown wrappers, sun-grown wrappers will have more of a sweetness in taste. To help nurture these delicate plants, we at times place cheesecloths above them. This helps us create an artificial cloud layer above the plant. This allows just the right amount of sun to penetrate the plant. We keep the leaves in the shade to keep their surface smooth and prevent the veins from becoming too large. Adult plants are primed in four steps, starting with the lower leaves. When priming layer by layer, the remaining leaves keep receiving nutrients. Freshly harvested tobacco cannot be used in its raw state. Once the plants are harvested, typically after three months, we gently cure them in a curing barn. The leaves are bundled and hung in rows. During 30 to 35 days, the leaves turn from green to yellow to eventually the perfect brown color we love having on our cigars. They are slowly dry to reduce the moisture content and release their natural sugars. After curing, we move to a very important phase, fermentation. The dried leaves are stacked in piles that reach two meters or six feet high. This creates pressure and warmth within the piles and slowly transform the leaves into aromatic tobacco. The complex fermentation process for another 60 to 90 days develops its flavors, aroma, and color. Before baling the tobacco, a first classification is already done. We select the leaves over and over again by quality and color. We are now ready for the final step where the tobacco leaves are arranged in bales by hand. These bales may be left untouched for years to give the tobacco time to age properly before they are ready to use in creating Balmoral cigars.